So hi, Mark here again with another Photoshop tool. Uh, this time it's the Perspective Warp. So I wanted to show you guys what you can do with it. Now, if we start looking at what your photos from Paris would be ideally looking like, this is what you would have here, and probably what they actually do look like, which is this one here, a little bit warped, out of shape, not what you want it to do. Now, Photoshop has one simple tool that gives you the ability to reshape the angle of your photo to give it a different look or a different impact. Uh, introducing the perspective warp tool in Photoshop. Now where it hides is up here in the edit options and it's underneath here in the perspective warp and what you can do with it is you can apply it to a single layer to make things fit into where they might not otherwise fit. What we're gonna do is follow some easy steps there's only four of them. Uh, one we're gonna get you having all of your layers in order, so you'll have all your layer layers, your, your add layer and all those other things. We'll select the layer you want to warp, we're going to draw a grid for the warp effect, and we're going to adjust the corners into the new position so that the, the layer fits into the area where you want it to fit. Let's see how this works in action. So what we'll do is we'll use this billboard space here and we'll try and fit it into that space. So imagine you want to place that add inside of that empty space. However, the ad itself, it is made in a different perspective, so we're just going to fix that up. To adjust this perspective, what we're going to do is we're going to select the layer and then we're going to go up into the Edit, Perspective Warp, and once we have this, we're going to draw a grid over the top of this image from the top left hand corner to the bottom right. And once you have that uh, set up, what we're going to go is up to the top left here and select the Warp option. And this will enable us to move these points around, these pins, and move them into where you want them to be on the actual billboard. Now we repeat this step for all of the other pins until all four are in the right position. And we'll get this last one here. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to commit all of these perspective warp changes. So you grab this little tick icon there, you click that, and then you have it all done for you. Now this is the original ad that you saw before and this is how it looks in the billboard space. And that's the billboard space without it. So uh, as you can see hopefully uh, you enjoyed this awesome tool and if you have any feedback or you want to share some of our your own experiences with this tool please leave us a comment in the comments below.